Hey folks, welcome back to another Pokemon Masters video, and yeah, in this video, let's go over, um, Calum Syncrid, <laughs> I guess. So, uh, let me just get this out there first. I'm not a huge fan. Um, I mean, it, you definitely got better, right? No, no argument about that. I, I just think, you know, a lot of times, eh, just use something else, <laughs> right? And, um, unfortunately, we only have, um, him at 2 out of 5 right now, so there's actually a lot of things that we could have done with um, uh, a Meow Six is uh, Syncrid, which is which are pretty interesting that we actually can't do, unfortunately. Um, so you know, it's not like <laughs> Caitlyn, right? Just a quick refresher on Callum's move set, just in case you know folks forgot what it was. Uh, so Callum, first of all, has a really good speed set. Um, so there's that. Um, nothing too much to write home about the special attack. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not you know anything crazy either. Um, tank stats are like. I mean, it has a decent amount of HP, but everything else is kind of meh. Um, as for the moves, you got Side Beam, that's for Confusion, you got X Speed, Thunder Wave for Paralysis, and then we're not done yet, which restores a bit of HP. Uh, lower the HP is, more it raises your special attack. Um, so at most, um, you get plus four, uh, but usually, you know, when you're at 50%, you get that plus three, it should be enough. Although, like, again, like I said before, I don't like these kind of moves. I don't like that, like, you have to get to like a certain point and then you get the buffs because usually you like using you like using the buffs as soon as the battle begins, right? Um, so that's slightly unfortunate. Sync move, uh, mind bending psychic, uh, 200 power, special psychic, uh, power increases if the target is paralyzed. Passive skills, acuity, accuracy can't be lowered, aggravation run, one, raises the um, chance at inflicting flinch, confuse, and trap conditions with the additional effect of moves. So, anyways, let's get into the sync grid right now. So, um, like I was saying, um, unfortunately, we don't have him at 3 out of 5, because at 3 out of 5, you're missing out on stuff like Paralysis Synergy. Um, you're missing out on uh, stuff like Fuzzy Striker, the Sync Move buffs, right? Which could actually make a pretty interesting um, build for uh, for uh, for like a Sync Move um, nuke, kind of, sort of, <laughs> build, right? Because like y you see, you could like go up here, take Paralysis Synergy, then you go down here, take... Uh, Fuzzy Striker 5, which powers up sync moves when target is confused by 50%, right, which is great. Um, you got Confusion Synergy, which you also don't get um, with, uh, you know, 2 out of 5, unfortunately. And then you could, uh, I don't know, what else What else is there? Um, I guess we could pick, uh, take a Pump Up as well, Pump Up 2, which charges the move gauge of all added sync by 2 uh, after doing the sync move, which is pretty nice uh, for the most part. Or you could take Aggravation instead just for the extra you know bit, bit of a, a chance for for confusion just in case like you just can't confuse your opponent right even though you already have aggravation and side beams like i mean side beam very small chance is what one percent right or something um i need to memorize yeah yeah very small is one percent or not one percent ten percent which that would be terrible uh ten percent so you get you know extra aggravation over here and all that stuff so yeah if you want that aggravation instead of pump up you know either one right um Aggravation is definitely more safe, but pump up, uh, you know, t t risk reward, right? Uh, but unfortunately, we can't do that because we don't have him at three out of five uh, right now. So um, if you're expecting Cam to be your psychic type striker, just use Mewtwo instead. <laughs> uh, or if you have Caitlyn, max out, you could use Caitlyn, which um, is better at the moment. Um, but yeah, if you don't have Caitlyn, you could just use Mewtwo for damage. Uh, this guy's not going to be doing much damage. But, uh, however, he does have some pretty interesting sets uh, that you could work with, right? Um, so, uh, Calum, you could, th there are some pretty interesting sets where uh, where you could make him like kind of a, like a support-ish plus pseudo-tank-ish kind of thing. Not so much of a tank, just because uh, the pseudo-tank thing, just because like you could like heal, but you just can't really take that many hits. So like you like take a hit and then heal right and like you can't even heal that much just because um, you're limited in in the in, in the MP refresh right. But anyways, um, so this set is uh, for sort of like tanking slash kind of supporting maybe right. So you take on we're not done yet MP refresh. Uh, you go ahead and take on a thunder wave satisfy satisfied snarl. So you set, uh, when you're a uh, thunder wave, you also decrease their special attack. Um, that's 100%, right? Um, that, that hits. So there's that as well. You could go up here. Um, you go up here and get 
a pep rally, XP pep rally, so you raise your whole team's um, speed as well while, while you're at it. Um, as for some other stuff, I don't know. Um, oh, oh, this is the big one. Master Healer, um, two, so you get an extra 20% when you heal yourself, right? Um, with uh, we're not done yet, so that is pretty helpful, I'd say, uh, for the most part for for accounts. Um, sync grid, you definitely would want that. So basically, this this build and also maybe some stats, I guess. Is there speed? Yep, there's speed. Nice. Um, so basically, this build is you give your team whole team speed when you use X speed, right? Um, so you're giving so you're getting a total of what f um, four, five, six, seven, eight. 8 speed without the MP refresh on X speed, right? Um, not that that's relevant in terms of calculations, um, but you know, uh, you, you get all that stuff. Um, you give your team speed. Um, oh, actually, you do have. Oh, I forgot I went through here. Yeah, yeah, this is. Yeah, this is the route I, uh, uh, I was going to go through, anyways. Um, so, yeah, you get that. Although, if you want Thunder Wave Movie Age refresh, you could do that as well, I think. Yeah, but. I personally would just go for XP and move gauge uh, or, or MP refresh in, instead, right? Um, this is, again, just more for Balbilla purposes. Um, so, yeah, you get speed, you Thunder Wave, you decrease their special attack with that. If if the opponents don't, like, use any special attacks, then, you know, you could, you could drop that, and then, like, you could just pick up some other stuff um, instead. Like, Grand Entry, it's really not that big of a deal because, again, you're not going to be dealing much damage with dude and a lot of like the other interesting stuff is locked behind three out of five right so like if you don't pick up sacrifice snarl i guess you could just pick up um some move gauge refreshes with thunder wave maybe um or if you want we go up here grab a move gauge refresh on side beam since you're trying to you know confuse your opponents maybe if you want that uh, but yeah uh you do have sacrifice snarls which you can lower the opponent's special attack when you use um, Thunder Wave as well, although again, you know, you're only gonna use like Thunder Wave like once on your opponent anyway So I really don't think Sapphire Snarl is like that big of a deal So you're like you're getting like minus one special which is still good But it's like not that big of a deal because again you, you you can't Thunder Wave an opponent twice Nor would there be any point to Thunder Waving them twice unless like they kind of like uh, unless they like cure it and Then I guess you could go do it again with a, like a full heal or something um, but yeah, not much point there, and uh, down here we're getting Master Healer, which actually should heal a decent amount, because that's an extra 20%, right? Um, with, um, we're not done yet, this should be, I think, 40%, so if it is, for, if, I think 40 or 30, so you're getting around half or over half of your uh, HP with Master Healer, right? Um, what was, me? what was, uh, not me, um, Pikachu's Master Healer? Um, oh, it's one per, oh, and it's 10 energy here, so, oh, that's, that's really nice, so... Um, for Pikachu, you, you, you like you have to use like ten energy for only one, and then for Meowstic, it's uh, eight energy for two, so twenty energy for two versus eight energy for two. Obviously, uh, Pikachu, you can use it on your teammates. This is only Meowstic, uh, but again, like Meowstic's stats just aren't like, and it's already five star, <laughs> so yeah, um, good speed again, good speed, bulk is. Just whatever, right? Um, but again, healing is nice in Villa. Um, if you want to maybe like go those kind of like double striker routes, um, maybe this could work. I I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just I'm just disappointed with Meowth's grid. I mean, like I said, it's it's not bad. It's just nothing interesting, right? It yeah it. it I just don't feel like it's it's you know interesting. like if you, if you want someone if you if you want a, a unit to like thunder wave and confuse your opponents or not thunder wave uh, paralyze and confuse your opponents just use like Vibloom. Vibloom is so much better. Vibloom has like a hundred percent um on on her stun just because you know Vibloom has piercing gaze right and you also have um where is it uh you also have um what was it called again oh stuns for flabbergast too which again you know it's not the best chance but hey Meowstic is only what 10% anyways right and then you get 20% on Flabbergast so yeah like I, I just think overall Vileplume's just better at you know the confusion plus paralysis on the opponent in comparison to, to Meowstic which 
And you also have Sanitized Snarl on, on, on Vileplume as well. So, I don't know. I'm personally slightly disappointed on, on Meowstic's Sacred. Um, again, Meowstic in commission to Vileplume, you do get the X speed stuff. And you do heal yourself, but like Vileplume is just much tankier anyways, right? Let me check. Vileplume. Oh, compare the bulk and all that stuff. Vileplume. Look at that special defense, man. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Vileplume is much, much tankier, much bulkier. And besides, Vileplume also has X special defense and pour it on, which drastically raises defense as well. So... Meowstic honestly just feels like a worse Vileplume right now without, you know, 3 out of 5. Because with 3 out of 5, you, you do have some kind of Sync Nuke build there, right? Which, again, probably, I, you know, I'm not going to judge before I use it, but it doesn't seem extremely pro uh, promising, promising to me either. But at least, you know, it's something, right? Uh, but anyways, yeah, just use Caitlyn. Use Mewtwo um, for your damage psychic dealers, right? Alexam, if you have Alexam. Um max out all that stuff and if you want to confuse or paralyze your opponents just use Vibloom unless you also want to increase your old team speed as well because you know Vibloom does not have speed <laughs> Vibloom speed is probably yeah that's terrible terrible speed <laughs> so there's that anyways um that's movie for this one hope you guys enjoy let me know what you guys think in the comments down below like if, if you enjoyed this video subscribe to channel for some more promo content and i'll see you guys in the next one